Hi guys, I'm Seth, welcome back to Warhawk Defense. Many have noticed that I haven't appeared on the channel for a while and there is no mysterious reason behind that, just my busyness with other projects, but of course I'm here all the time, collecting information, working on the channel and of course bringing out the best news from Ukraine. From now on I will be appearing periodically and of course I will return to daily announcements soon. And now let's see something that the Ukrainians say is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, Russian attack by armored units, in which the Russians were repulsed with huge losses. A soldier of the 25th Airborne Brigade effectively destroyed a Russian armored vehicle with the help of a U.S. anti-tank guided missile javelin in the area of Tonenka Avdiivka direction. Okay. And also in Tonenka, outside of Avdiivka, a Ukrainian FGM 148 Javelin ATGM hits the roof of an advancing Russian T 72 B 3, igniting the onboard ammunition and causing the tank to suffer a catastrophic cook off. Ukrainian forces appear to have repelled a Russian battalion-sized mechanized assault near Avdivka, Donetsk Oblast, on March 30th. The first battalion-sized mechanized assault since Russian forces began the campaign to seize Avdivka in late October 2023, reports the Institute for the Study of War. This appears to be the first report of any elements of the 90th Tank Division participating in assaults following the Russian seizure of Avdivka. ISW previously assessed that elements of the 90th Tank Division, alongside other Russian units and formations, likely represent a sizable uncommitted operational reserve that the Russian military command can commit to continue and intensify efforts to push west of Avdivka. The scale of the Russian mechanized assault on March 30th is significant, and the Russian military command's willingness to commit a battalion's worth of tanks to an attack near Avdivka indicates that this assault was a priority effort. And a video of the destruction of a Russian armored convoy near the village of Tonenke has appeared. The attack, in which the Ukrainians destroyed 20 pieces of equipment, is being called the largest in the entire war. The 25th Separate Airborne Brigade Sikhislav of the Ukrainian Armed Forces has published a video of the destruction of Russian armored vehicles. The drone footage shows tanks and BMPs moving initially in a high-density formation being hit by anti-tank missiles and drones. They burn and stop. The video captured the destruction of six pieces of equipment. Ukrainian project Deep State and Forbes called the attack the largest in the entire war. 36 tanks and 12 BMPs were involved. The Ukrainian armed forces destroyed or seriously damaged 20 vehicles, while the rest retreated. The battle took place on the western outskirts of Tunenke, which is where Russian forces are trying to advance after the capture of Avdivka. Russian war correspondent Yuri Kotyonok admitted losses of manpower and equipment, and actually confirmed that tanks and BMPs were sent into a minefield. In no war can minefields be cleared by units. Russian commanders learn nothing. This is how Israeli military journalist Sergei Auslander commented on the destroyed column. Geolocated imagery published on March 31st indicates that Russian forces recently marginally advanced northwest of Tonenka, west of Avdivka, in a mechanized assault that Ukrainian forces defeated. A Russian rag hoisted over the northern part of Pervomaiska, west of Avdivka. Given the recent advances of Russians inside and near the settlement, it now looks like they managed to occupy most of it.
And this is interesting. Russian drone attempts an attack on a Ukrainian helicopter. Russians can protest. Engels in Russia is exceeding the mobilization plan due to the sewage system. The city is swimming in water filled with fecals. Instead of a thousand words, a father by the portrait of his son who died defending Ukraine. We can't imagine his grief. We can't imagine his pain, and only for the mad delusions of a crazy dictator which is protecting his stolen billions. And for the end, Turkey's ruling party, led by Erdogan, has been defeated in municipal elections for the first time in 20 years. The defeat of Erdogan and his Justice and Development Party was the most significant in their time in power and could signal a possible change in the country's political landscape the publication said. Unfortunately, we failed to get the result we wanted and hoped for in the municipal elections, Erdogan admitted. He assured that these elections were not the end, but the beginning of a turning point. The largest opposition party, the Social Democratic Republican People's Party, declared itself the winner. Ekrem Imamoglu, a member of that party and the current mayor of Istanbul, won more than 51% of the vote according to preliminary results. Tomorrow is a new day of spring for our country, he declared. Thank you guys for watching as as i said i'm back and we will see each other more often from now on stay with warhawk defense the best channel for the war in ukraine comment like subscribe become our member and stay strong thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe also if you want to support warthog defense please become our member and get early access to new videos exclusive members only videos and become administrator in comment section the membership link is in the description rescues. every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days you know he's doing the job every day